Do you ever open your window at night and hear a loud squeaking overhead? You might be surprised to learn that you aren't hearing bats or bugs or other creatures we usually imagine flying around at night. You are hearing ducks. That's right, ducks. In New Orleans, black-bellied whistling ducks are common visitors at Audubon Park. Some are stopping over for the whole season, and others are resting on their migration to Mexico. When you spot them resting in marshy waterways or flying high above, you may notice their distinctive pink beaks and dark abdomens. Whistling ducks and other birds are able to complete great migrations from colder to warmer climates thanks to flight. But how do the birds we see every day, like ducks, crows, blue jays, or even those as big as cranes, go from sitting on the ground to flying high above our heads? They simply wing it. Flight is all about controlling the air around you, and birds are excellent at doing just that. At Audubon Zoo, ambassadors like our macaws can help us understand how. Take a look at their wings. You can see that they are thicker and rounder near the front and become slimmer as you move back. This is called an airfoil. We use airfoils too when designing airplanes and propellers. When the wing is angled upwards, the airfoil forces two streams of air, one above and one below the wing. The lower stream pushes against the underside of the wing, creating the force we call lift. Bird wings narrow further back to reduce the force of drag from the air, which can slow down flight. These two forces are what allow birds to fly. Birds must flap their wings in order to get the air around them moving. Scientists call this action thrust, and it's a very important part of being able to fly. Airplanes use propellers and engines to move air over and under their wings. When birds flap their wings, they move their wing forward and down. This creates more air movement underneath the wing than just flapping up and down. Can you try flapping your arms up and down? Now try flapping forward and then down. You can feel the difference in the air as you move your arms. Birds are adapted to fly right down to their bones too. Flying birds have extremely light skeletons because their bones have empty spaces inside of them to reduce their weight. Most birds also have a bone called a furcula, which is where the muscle attaches to help the bird lift their wings during flight. We usually call it a wishbone. These lightweight bones are great for flying, but not so great for swimming. To help them stay underwater, penguins have heavier bones than other birds, but the same motions that help an owl fly also helps a penguin swim. When you watch the African penguins at the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas, you may notice that they don't look so graceful when they are walking on land, but once they start to swim, they move fast and efficiently through the water. The power of flight allows birds to travel great distances, often in annual migrations. Birds migrate in search of food and places to nest. Migrating birds often rely on specific places to find food and safety during their travels. Unfortunately, the wetland habitats that these ducks and other birds usually use as stopover sites are disappearing. That's why every year, Audubon Park ends up with nearly a thousand black-bellied whistling ducks. You can help Audubon conserve species like black-bellied whistling ducks and whooping cranes by protecting their wetland habitats right in your own backyard. The future of our migratory birds is still up in the air, but we can all work together to save them here on Earth. Thank you for joining us today. Audubon Nature Institute is able to bring our wild stories to you thanks to our outreach sponsors. Aquavan, sponsored by Chevron, introduces audiences to the wonders of the underwater world. The Zoomobile, sponsored by Shell, and the Wetland Express, sponsored by the New Orleans Pelicans, offer educational programs with both native and non-native ambassadors of flight. I hope you enjoyed learning about these birds and how others move through our world.